Sonic Mania. Sonic Mania. Catrello Games. Start a new mode, Matthew. I've never played this game before, but I've had it for like three years. Wow. Yeah, he just he just broke the plastic the other day. We looked at the art book. It was nice. Yeah, Trevor's one of those. He rips the plastic open with his teeth. <laughs> he just can't wait to jump in. You know, people do that. They... <laughs> this is great. Wasn't somebody who was like a who made a mod of the game or something made this? What's the story behind this game? Uh, well, let's let's go through. Our... Okay, I guess we're not. We don't have a cutscene yet, but um. The deal with this game, Trevor, is that there are uh, a group of people who make Sonic fan games. They've hacked Sonic games for decades. They've made a bunch of fan games. They're awesome. One of them is known as the Tax Man, was his like online game, online name. And then there was a Monkey. guy, Christian Whitehead. Christian Whitehead at some point pitched the idea of uh, remastering the Sonic games for the iPhone. What? And that went really well. They're the best versions of Sonic 1, 2, and CD that you can play. They're available on uh, iOS and Apple TV. Way better than the versions you get on Switch and stuff. And he did it by, like, recreating the engine. Um, what did they call it? I think that the Hedgehog engine. Um, I'm probably getting that wrong. But anyway, they did such a good job with those mods that eventually oh, they... How was I supposed to know? They wanted to uh, remaster Sonic and Knuckles 3. And uh, instead of doing that, they put them on this project. And it's like the dream team of all the Sonic fan game creators. You know, so like imagine if, what? you know, there's there's a guy who made a really impressive um, Metroid game uh, called Another Metroid 2 Remake. And imagine if Nintendo just worked with those people to make the best Metroid game ever. That's that's what this game is. Wow. Okay. Yeah, well, imagine if, you know, Nintendo was as based as Sega. <laughs> right? Oh, we're choosing. Okay. I, mean, you, I, I guess. All right. Oh, did you want the other one? I like the other one more. Oh, I didn't know it. Wait. Yeah, I didn't choose one. Oh, that's okay. Oh, I that's was okay. literally, like, just playing. Or, uh, I was just uh, holding right on the stick. I thought it was a cutscene. Oh wait, Christian, oh, wait, Christian Whitehead is the tax man. That's the funniest internet name. So now Matthew's playing uh, Mighty the Armadillo. They also revived these characters. They're they're really kind of buried in the, the Sonic lore, as it were. And uh, they brought him back with some special abilities for this time around. That's really cool. I don't know either of those guys. They're kind of a <laughs> they're kind of a Sonic? deep cut. They're no. from uh <laughs> they're they're from what is it? Sonic Trip Triple Trouble? No. There's this three player arcade Sonic game that I've always wanted to play, but you know, obviously I wasn't living in Japan and able to go to the Japanese arcade at the time. But they were in that game. And I really want them to remake it at some point. That'd be so awesome. But the way we'll be handling this little playthrough oh, is oh, oh, oh man very nice. Oh, I got Tails! So once once Matthew gets hit with someone, Tails will, will jump in and we'll be able to use him. And it's a cool way that they handle this. Usually with Sonic games, you just kind of commit to one character. But in this one, you get to uh, play around with everybody, which is great because they all have different abilities. Except and I like Sonic. how they... No, they sauced oh. up Sonic. Oh, that's, that's me now. That's me now. Yeah, dude, they really sauced up Sonic in this game. That drop dash... Shout out to Tails, man. Yeah, I Tails just cheats, I just tried man. doing that, and it didn't work. Doing what? Didn't you say the drop dash? Yeah. How do you do that again? Woo! Oh, that's cool. I didn't know he lighted stuff on fire. Oh, no, that's it's, the game. It's because okay. I got the flame shield. Oh. But yeah, what do you do for the drop dash? Uh, I thought you, I just tried doing you that. You jump in the air, and then you hold X. Oh, hold it. I kept pressing it. Yeah, if you press X, that that gives you. And actually, I mean, as a kid, I was like, "Man, Sonic just is lame. He all he all he does is like glow for a second. But that's not the oh, case. Oh, we're about we got to get another, another one. character. I'm Everyone, sorry, Trevor. Why is Knuckle always? I feel like when you and I played this, it. Well, no, we got Knuckles. Oh, I can't remember. It was Mighty that took forever to get. Yes. Um. But yeah, that so. 
Originally, Sonic only had this this thing where it, he just kind of like glowed oh, for a that's second. That's the best one. But the cool thing about that is that in that brief frame, Sonic is invincible. So if you got really good at Sonic, then you could like blitz through some of the most Wait, intense. Wait, can you double jump with that, like Sonic? No, Sonic is the only character who gets extra moves with the shield. That's the other thing that's like exclusive to him. So I, you know, I used to think as a kid that Sonic was too vanilla, but I think hey, you uh, know it's. Uh... It's, it's grown on me. <laughs> it's better than Donkey Kong being able to pull switches. Oh my gosh, yeah, the best ability ever created. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that's a, just a switch thing. Yeah, but I figure we could just keep it, you know, I won't keep know. it kind of moving quick. I, I won't know what I'm doing when I pick oh, up these the... sticks. I haven't played Sonic in probably 20 years. <laughs> it's been a minute. I wonder if I can, you think I can... Yeah! <laughs> I, think no! the, I, I think the last time I played Sonic was on a Dreamcast. No lie. The uh, other crazy thing is, so you know that drop dash move, oh Matthew? Oh my gosh. That drop dash move that you have was actually created... Come on! Um, ...with Sonic 2. Oh, no, 2. I don't... Hold on. Hey! Or not not Sonic 2. First, that was a, a move Wait, in the beta did... of Sonic 3. Now you got a flame shield. You do a different jump. No, I know. Why did... I was trying to... Do this, and he jumped when I press square. I didn't get that. This is beautiful, though. Yeah, this this encore mode is oh, kind of like a remix on. version of all the all the levels, and uh, there's like some Bro! slight differences. Oh no! 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 Listen, when I was a kid, when the ice cream man would come, that would be one of my favorite f f favorite ones to get. Oh, gosh, the Sonic one. The Sonic uh. one was delicious. What's your memory of Sonic? Man, those ice cream bars. They were great. <laughs> they were great. Oh, I thought maybe there was something down there. You no, know, one of the things that made me want to get this game is like, oh, you can play with Knuckles. Oh, bet. I'm getting it. I respect it. I respect anything that does something different. And the fact that, you know. Um, Trevor could try the armadillo. Yeah, I was, I was just going to finish this. I always really liked the uh, the bosses in this in these games. How they they didn't worry about just like waiting until you could attack. But you just feel like you're actually fighting them, like you scrap it. Yeah, man. Yeah, here you go, Trevor. You can pre you press X in the air, or after you jump, and he'll like slam down. That's his thing. Yeah. Also, he. I think you'll bounce off of spikes, so he, he's uh he's got a little bit of immunity. Grab there. on that zip line. And how do you how do you do the spin thing? So hold down and then uh, rev it up with the X button. Oh no no no! Oh yeah! Oh, I was using square to do that. You can use either. I think this game only uses a uh, control stick in um, one button. Oh. Hey! <laughs> oh, that's uh, his ability. Trevor, there's something. Don't get that switch thing. Get the mystery thing. Oh. Pfft. Oh, you Knuckles! Just, uh, just press triangle. Yeah, get Knuckles, though. Just jump on that. Now we got Knuckles on the team. Nice. Got a full squad. They do this instead of lives, which makes it more challenging and also... Um, a little more interesting, I think. So, Trevor, you can also press down while you're running, and that will put you into a ball that will hurt people as you run into them. I'm trying to... Oh, there we go. Ha <laughs> ha. I just want to... Oh, my gosh. Okay. Yeah. No. No. All right. Listen. That spring We're... also takes you up. Oh, you're going you're gonna to want... You're going to want those rings, Trevor. He got them. Trevor, you want to go to the right. Okay. So, like, jump on that spring and then go to the right. In uh, every Sonic game, there's multiple ways to beat a stage, so you're not going to be able to explore every path on your first run, but uh, you've got a lot of options. Get, so that, you, get the checkpoint. If you end up, like, up or down, don't worry too much about it. Armadillo man. Do what an armadillo oh, man, you can. you were on the... Let's find out where... Uh, where did Mighty the Armadillo come from? 
No, you want to go? No, 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 no. You, you, just... <laughs> you, you just Sega Sonic the Hedgehog. That's what it is. Now these loop de loops, Trevor. You want to be going. F All you need to do is clear enough speed to yeah, to move stop. around don't, it. Don't jump. Yeah. Now jump over this part coming up. Yeah. You can use the momentum and like the way you're, you're, that you're kind of like gliding up a hill to get more air time. <laughs> it's cool. Okay. You'll get it. It's 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 a little there weird. We it's it's not like a lot of other platforms where this no, one. Because my of, my brother was more into Sonic than I was. Um, yeah, and if you're used to stuff like Mario and uh, like Donkey Kong Country, it feels a little weird at first because you're. It's all about momentum, and. Um, which is always impressive for me, like for for like a Sega Genesis game to have you know this much of a physics engine in it is pretty pretty crazy. Anyway, uh, Mar Mighty the Armadillo comes from Sega Sonic the Hedgehog, which is an, a three-player arcade game where you'd play three characters at the same time co-op. Do you play with the D-pad or with the uh, toggle stick? I do the D-pad because I'm a gamer. Trevor, the the yeah, you want to go to the right, dude. <laughs> you're getting me just crouch and then do it yeah yeah you, you so you just don't want to jump there well also like if so if you're moving and you press down you'll curl into a ball and keep moving that's like a different a different move there's something right yeah, there. that wall looks like fake or something i saw well, another but one i don't like know that. how you break you try it. jumping into that yeah i don't know maybe you need to hit it from the other side no it maybe it's like knuckles thing Okay. Oh well. Ah. Oh, he blocks uh, some energy shots too. That's awesome. Ah. Ah. No, oh, you're. <laughs> I wanted to get that little coin that thing. Box. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool, man. Can't get them all. Don't hey. worry too much about it. I don't. I don't think we even have lives in this. There's something so right a there. Slam on the ground. I think it. I think it brings it down. Yeah, hit that. Hit it. No, you have to. Yeah. Yeah. Noise. Well, oh, here. You want to? Uh, going with Sonic or Ray? I don't know. You want to? Oh, look how he's falling. Yeah, he's the closest yeah, thing to off, tails. Uh, this guy. So this dude can glide. Wow. Well, goofed. Goofed. I like I like Knuckles more though. You know his glide, his can actually go up and down. I don't think Knuckles can like can go can ascend and descend. Got a little bonus game here. Check this out. Ooh, Which one gets want? you the most? What do we want? Water shield. You see, you see this uh, that three D model of the characters. I I want a Sonic retro game like that because we never got a proper like N sixty four esque Sonic game. Oh wait, if you switch to Sonic, doesn't it? Will he keep the shields? Yeah, I think so. Oh, I just well, I, I love just, how he's in a bubble. No, I just was gonna say this is great. Yeah, show it off. That's like one of my favorite things. Yeah, I mean, uh, no. I I seem to have found the consensus for um, Sonic, my boy. For Sonic uh, being that people like the second one the best, but I like the third one the most. Why? You want another shield? <laughs> <laughs> I just like all, all the stuff that the third one added, and you know, it's kind of weird. Like they couldn't fit the whole game on a on a Sega Genesis cartridge. So they split it into two games. There was Sonic 3 and then Sonic and Knuckles. And those were both separate uh, separate games that they had to make because they just couldn't fit um, all the stuff on one cartridge. And so you have a ton of content. That's when Knuckles enters the scene. Um, 
You could do Sonic and Tails co-op, all the shield stuff, the levels are super awesome. You know, like, it was just a good time. Hmm. Oh, now there's, like, the second area. Yeah, you don't remember that? Not really. Listen to this music, though. My boy. This is a... This is a banger. Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> Papa needs a new shield! No! <laughs> what happens if you make Sorry. it to the top? Oh, 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 oh. We were close. What was that noise? No! <laughs> you failed! Failure. Sora. Oh, man. When did they call him Eggman? I feel like they didn't start calling him Eggman until later. Or did they all call, always call him Eggman? I, I think like he was always Eggman in Japan. Oh. I thought he was always Eggman in the games, but they called him Dr. Robotnik in the TV show. I think that might be true, too. But the marketing for... Yeah, it's a, it's a very weird story, because the, the cartoon thought that, you know, based on how he looked in the games, they just thought he had weird-looking eyes instead of sunglasses. So, remember the weird eyes he had in the, the Urkel cartoon? Yeah. Do I need to be fighting him? <laughs> I think I do. Is there a way to pick up those and throw them at him? I, th I think there's like a... A part of him that is, uh, vulnerable. Yeah, I don't know what the part is, but... <laughs> it's like his head. <laughs> jump jump now to the left. Okay, there we go. So you see a hill like that? You see how much air I got off of that? My boy! <laughs> this game is too cool. Uh-oh. Mm. Uh, <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I think I was supposed to beat him before that point. <laughs> well, I it, now we have knuckles. Uh, I don't know if Trevor should do that, boss. I don't know. Give that, it to uh, me. Give it to me. I do one. Well, I'm already. Knuckles. Yeah, let me, I don't like. I think Sonic's better suited to handle this too, because you can use that invincibility. He's still got that move, right? Where if you just tap, jump in the air. Tap in the air, what? Tap the jump button uh, in the in the air. Does that still do something for him? No. Huh. That's what I was saying before. What I was trying to yeah, do. Yeah, I guess I guess they took that one out. Mm mm mm. <laughs> All right, now we're in chemical plants. That's where we'll leave this episode. Jumping into the next one.